My name is Mons Nilsson. I'm the research director at SCI, and I've been involved in this new climate economy project from the get-go. Um, the project was set up to look at the interactions between economic growth and development and climate change mitigation. The reason we want to do that is because there's a lack of evidence about the economic costs and benefits of climate action. And this lack of evidence has made it difficult for um, uh, policymakers to make uh, tough climate uh, mitigation uh, um, actions. So um, what we wanted to do was to examine this. Is it possible to combine economic growth and, cli and strong climate action? And uh, we did this. We set up a big project uh, together with partner institutes around the world. And uh, with funding from the Swedish and UK and Norway governments, we established a global commission to look into this issue. Um, SEI's role in this work has been to look in depth into the energy uh, sector and what transitions need to take place in energy. Uh, and then we've taken part in the uh, synthesis team and editorial team as well. The, the first main insight is that it is possible to combine economic growth and strong climate action. This will cost a little bit extra money as an upfront investment. But in the long term, this will generate efficiency gains, savings, and uh, uh, dynamic effects into the economy. We believe that will be more beneficial to economic growth than a kind of a business as usual scenario. In fact, a uh, business as usual scenario is a little bit of a myth. We don't think there is such a thing as business as usual in a warming world with increasing climate uh, impacts and uh, uh, structural problems in the economy. So we think that the uh, actions and recommendations that we've come up with in the report will be um, more beneficial to the economy than continuing on the path that we are on today.